hi guys welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you are a returning subscriber today i am milking milk scones um, my mom asked me to make this because uh, we didn't have anything for breakfast the following day so she told me i should make some so i decided to just film it because you know content <laughs> It really gets hard sometimes to find content, so I thought, wow, let me just make this and turn this into content, yeah? Yeah. So, I started by making buttermilk because we didn't have any buttermilk at home. I got 250 ml of milk and poured it into a mug. Then I took a lemon, half a lemon. The lemon was frozen, guys. <laughs> You can actually see that I, I'm having trouble squeezing it, but yeah, I did what I have to do. I squeezed it as hard as I could. <laughs> Look at me, I'm using both hands right there. So yeah, I squeezed it and it was still coming out like frozen, like crystals, ice crystals. So I squeezed it and then I took a spoon and stirred it at the top. So it started melting and dropping into the milk. I left the milk for about um for as long as I, it took me to prepare the the dry ingredients that's how it took that's how long it took me I I can't remember the exact amount of minutes but yeah it took me that long that's how long I left it out the dry ingredients I had two cups <laughs> okay let me not lie here I had two containers it's a tiny container I don't <laughs> I don't even know how many um, meals it is but yeah my ancestors told me that it was enough because it was the size of a cup and I eyeballed everything most of it most of it actually and then i took um teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of baking soda i poured it into the what's that thing colander <laughs> sieve not a colander yes the sieve i put it into the sieve and then i sieved it all together so the flour is kind of heavy in the sieve i knew that if i if i shake it i'm gonna make a mess so i started with a spoon i stirred it i stirred it and then i sieved i used my hand to shake it too yeah i held it by its handle and shaked it until it was done like okay, guys this helps the the flour to be fine and for you to remove all the bad things look at that look 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 i found two i don't know what they are but it looked like it was the flour it, some water got in and it yeah crumped together then i added sugar i added quarter cup of the same container that i used of sugar quarter a container of, of the container that i used at first i mixed the dry ingredients up and i made a well at the center of the That's, that was a sofria a small sofria guys and my milk was ready my buttermilk was ready look at that oh it looks so nice like i should just drink it no i'm just joking anyway i poured it at the center here we go and then i added cooking oil we didn't have we had butter but then my mom said i shouldn't use butter 
<laughs> she said I should use I should use cooking oil and I was like this will be my first time making milk scones with, with cooking oil so if they come out a mess don't blame me um, here I am is, um, pouring the cooking oil and then I went back to pour out because I, I poured a lot and I was like hey, this is too much it's going to be watery so I pulled, I, I took some out and then I put the rest into the center. And then I added two eggs. One, two. Beat them. Yeah, a bit. And then I added them into the, into, on, onto the center again. Yeah, right there. Look at me. But why was I delaying? Anyway, yeah, that's me beating and pouring it into the center <laughs> can you pour faster please when i took antigo i don't know if you know some of you know what antigo is but it's a wooden spoon not a spatula a wooden spoon <laughs> I stirred everything and mixed it up. Mix, mix, mix. Then I remembered, oh, I forgot the vanilla. <laughs> oh, God. Then I took two teaspoons of vanilla and I just threw it in there. I think I took three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I poured it in there. I was like, what? How can I forget the vanilla? The vanilla helps to give the mixture a good smell, guys eggs eggs smell they have ish, i don't like eggs guys but yeah the vanilla takes out the bad smell it always must it and i can't hear it i can't smell it you can't hear a smell what are you saying i can't smell it yes and i mixed 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 until i saw that ah no this spatula spoon tigo thing is not helping me let me use my hands because you know what yeah, I don't want to leave no clumps. So there I am, using my hands, mix, mix, mixing it. Yeah. some flour and I sprinkled it on the surface that I was using to uh, finish the process of rolling the dough and yeah guys here's the dough and there were some clams left in the sofilia because I was mixing the sofilia as I said and I put it on top and I added some flour and I started to to roll the dough so that I can get a nice mix of the yeah of everything please guys guys I'm not a what what what's that a cooking vlogger <laughs> I don't know but yeah I'm not that one I don't even know what kind of a vlogger I am but yeah I'm I'm not the one that cooks and stuff and explains what she's doing that's why I'm having a lot of trouble explaining this. You even I, I, before this video, there's this, there's the samosa video, and I'm sure some of you laughed already. But yeah, <laughs> who cares? Just understand that I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it because at this point, my channel can't shouldn't be going like two months, six months without me uploading. That's just bad behavior not good at all no i don't like that yeah then i took some flour and i sprinkled it on the 
the organ tray yeah and then i took the rolling pin and i rolled the door roll 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 the gentry down the street oops sorry yeah i rolled the door and i'm gonna be honest guys i made mistakes at first <laughs> i'm not gonna hide the mistakes that i made so i left it in the video so you guys can see that yeah i'm not really a cooking vlogger a cook vlogger whatever they're called i'm not that one this was just me having fun cooking and making something nice for my family and yeah here it is i i, I was cutting the door using cup a cup a small cup a plastic cup that cup is the one that 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 you get in in the in the life school the guys <laughs> can you see the shapes but they kind of look cute i like them Now this is where my troubles began guys. This door was trying to make me look as if I've never baked milk scones before and ish, guys I was like you know what I'm not scared of you <laughs> So I just took out the first three and yeah they are kind of ugly but who cares um and I wrote it again because I didn't want imperfect scones. <laughs> At least I wanted them to look the way they are supposed to. So I added some more flour and I wrote it again because in, in my observation, um, the dough was too soft. That's why I was failing to shape them properly. So I had it, added more flour, rolled it a bit and did the process once again and at least this time around we were okay as you will see shortly I 
아니 강아지야 강아지 Just want you to be happy When someone tries to touch your scars It doesn't seem to cure at all oh, Nothing's gonna be any matter I'll love you every day Let's take a walk by my phone running out of battery so I was using what's that thing you call the, the phone flash as my light because the light bulb was not strong enough guys so I was using the flash and then my phone was on 15% and I can't use um, the phone flash when it reaches 15 percent yeah gonna be any matter I love you every day let's take a I don't have fear guys look at these ugly ass milk scones <laughs> the shapes but they tasted so damn good <laughs> it tasted so good and then I covered the scones with a green broth for about 15 minutes and then I preheated my oven 110 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes for as long as I left out the milk scones to do their thing Here are the scones after 15 minutes of waiting. <laughs> hey, and then I pop them into the oven. Here they are going in. And then I increased the is it volume? <laughs> the temperature, not volume now. <laughs> 270. I wanted 175. But I got 270 because I don't have 75 there, so it was 170. I left them in there for like 25 minutes because I popped them in at um, 1925 and I got them out at 1950, I think. Hey, oh my yes, they were in there for. <laughs> 25 minutes guys and then I remember that oops silly me I forgot to graze them with eggs so I just took some butter and I quickly did my thing before they cooled and look at that they, they are changing instantly they look uh, as if they are dressed 
that time look at them the others that have not been covered they look like they are naked at least these ones look dressed they look okay let me tell you something about how these tasted they tasted so so good they were creamy they were soft they look hard that's how milk scones are supposed to look but they were soft and sweet and milky and creamy everything that they were supposed to give they were giving just that the shape guys the shape was not shaping but yeah they were good i hope you try out this recipe from me to you with love thanks for coming by thank you thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and you can also ask for recipes if you want i may try it out look look at that look look just look oh, wow <laughs>